Hi guys, Sarah Bowman here. Just going to do a tutorial today on how to put wings into a picture or how to put wings on a person in a picture. So uh, this is without the wings and then with the wings. And then the bottom image here is before everything. But uh, that will probably be a different tutorial at a different time. So this is what we're going to try and to achieve today. So first what we're going to do is we are going to, once you find an image that you have on the internet that you are allowed to use, or if you have one already, that's even better. So we are going to go and find your image here. So I'm just going to turn the wings here. I know that they're smaller, the image is smaller than my image, which isn't great for resolution, but I think it ended up looking all right in the end. So I'm just going to make the wings larger because I want them to be pretty big, probably going over her head. And as you can see here, this button right here is very useful. If you have it unclicked, it's the image just gets warped as you try and resize it. As you can see, pretty warped. So if you put this button on, then it actually fixes the image and puts it back to the correct proportions that it was originally. So I'm just going to go back to resizing. And like I said, probably about above her head. I'm sorry, my computer goes a little bit slow when I'm trying to edit and record at the same time. Once you're happy with where it is, you can press Enter or Return, and that will place it exactly where you put it. Now what we're going to want to do is go to Lasso Tool and click Magnetic Lasso because we want to make only the wings appear and not the background on the, the wings image. So we're going to select areas that we want to be shown. So right now I'm just kind of selecting around. I'm letting the Lasso tool do what it wants. And I'm just going to select this small part right here. So once you have gotten to the end of it, double click, and it selects it. Then I can move around and add to the selection by holding the shift button and then clicking. And then let go of the shift button and then continue with your selection. And it doesn't have to be perfect because you can always refine it afterwards. Maybe I'll speed up this process for you. <laughs> it might be excruciating to watch how slow I'm going. And you can see some areas it didn't really work properly, but that's okay, because like I said, we can just fix that afterwards. So now that you have your selection, you're going to want to go down to this little icon right here to create a layer mask. So just click that, and that will just select or show your selection. And so now what we're going to do is you move first move the wings to where we want them to go, because they probably wouldn't be sticking out of her shoulder. So I am going to go to Lasso Tool and free transform and we're just going to resize it because I also think it should be a little bit larger and now we're going to move it around to where we think the wings would be coming out of her back and then once you're happy with where it is just press enter but I think I'm just going to move a little bit more yeah there we go perfect so now we need to make it so that the wing is in the background and not right in front of her coming out of her boob. So we're going to select the brush and we're going to be painting with black on the layer mask that we just made. Black or white depending on if we're showing or hiding. So white will show the layer and black will hide the layer. And make sure the brush isn't too soft on the edges when you're going on the edges of of the wings and it looks like my flow needs to be higher too perfect so I just want to make the edges look proper so I'm painting with white right now to show the area and I'm not going to do a perfect job just because this is just kind of showing you how to put the wings and it would take me a long time to get it perfect So now we're going to erase the part of the wing that's going over her arm. So for this, I like to 
lower the opacity of the wing layer so that we can kind of see through uh, where her arm is and that way we can tell a lot easier where we should be painting with the black. So this is at least good for showing you how to kind of do the edges and place the wings. And so now we want to, at least I would like to add another wing because normally there would be two. And I just don't want it to look like a flat stuck together one wing pretending that there's two. So we're going to actually duplicate this layer so that there are two. So right click the layer and duplicate it. And now we need to move it so that the other one well, so that you can see the other one. So we're going to free transform that bottom one, and you want to select the bottom wing, not the top wing on the layer, and just tilt it a bit. And what you can even do is also move the wing a little bit closer to her, just because normally the wings won't be coming out in the exact same spot, or at least, I mean, sometimes they might be, but in this image I'd like to have them a little bit further apart. So I pressed enter once I finished tilting it and now I'm moving it a little bit more forward like I described. Sorry, my cats are fighting here. And same kind of idea, I lowered the opacity so that's easier to erase. And the nice thing about this wing is if I just erase a lot of it where the arm is, it doesn't matter because it's going to be behind the other wing anyways. So as you see in a second here, I'll erase right there and I don't have to refine it because it's behind the other wing. It's not until I go a bit higher that I need to be a bit more careful. And the hard part for this one will be uh, the flower crown that she's wearing because uh, it, the edges are a little bit more difficult to go around. Now, there are a few more ways of doing this but I decided to do the hard way and just do it all manual, just by hand, erasing or painting with black. You can also try and select the crown and then paint around it or paint within it, but I just decided to do it this way. This way I have more control. So now what I like to do is select both of the wing layers, holding shift, you can click them both, and then drag your selection down to that little folder icon, and that creates a folder with both of your wings in there. And you can see very quickly with and without the wings. Now another thing we need to do is make the wings blend. So we're going to create a curves layer because I think that they should be brighter, and I think the contrast is too high as well, so I'm just going to bring up uh, mid-tones and a little bit of everything just to make it a bit brighter but you can see it's affecting the whole image so hold the alt and option or option key and put your cursor right in between those two layers and then that will only affect the wings because we made a folder for the wings which makes it a lot more handy when you just want the edit to affect only one thing so I'm just kind of playing around with it, just trying to work the curves layer to blend the wings into the picture better here. Uh, let's see. So now we're going to do something a little bit extra. So go to Layer and New Layer and press OK. We're going to add the sparkles, the nice and cheesy sparkles, yeah. So I'm just going to, I already found some free brushes. You can find them online. Um, I'm going to select this one here, maybe, mm, no, not that one. Yeah, if you search Google free brushes for Photoshop, or, or free wing brushes, whatever you want, you can usually find a lot of them, they're pretty accessible, and they're very handy for doing stuff like this, more whimsical and ethereal, or cheesy images. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so I like this one, so I'm just going to... Uh, Make it larger. I want the brush to be larger. I just don't want it to go too large, so it's going out of the picture. So I think I'm going to go with 3,000 and click. 
oops, I double clicked. So you can press Command Z to undo. And so that looks good. We just need to erase the sparkles that are on her body and then it will look much better. So let's add a mask and then paint with black. Come on, Sarah, pick it. Okay, and then you're gonna wanna paint with black. You don't have to be as perfect with this, thankfully, because you're just getting some sparkles that are placed pretty far apart. So you don't have to be too perfect with this. Great, and so uh, this is the picture without the wings, and then with the wings that you just made. Now I do recommend not doing the wings last. Um, you'll, you're going to want to do the wings before you make other edits to the entire picture, because that way the wings are also affected by the edits and blend a lot better. So at the end, you'll see my finished image and the wings look a lot more blended. Also, I didn't really go into it, but uh, do refine the edges of the wings like I did not do here so that they look proper and you're going to want to use dodge and burn so that the shadows and highlights also look like they would look like in the picture if the wings were placed where they're placed. So this is my finished image. Um, I would also love to see what you guys have done. Um, if you have tried uh, putting wings into an image after seeing this or have before this, I would love to see your images. So please share them. You guys can add me on Facebook at facebook.com slash Sarah Bowman Photographs. And I am also on Instagram at Sarah Bowman Photography. Thanks guys. Have a good day.